Hey guys, this is Gaurav Goel, Northeast Decal Basker Agronomist. Today I want to talk about the things that you need to consider when making a decision on whether you want to replant corn or not. The first thing you need to do is to count the number of plants in an acre, which can be done by counting the number of plants in 17 foot 5 inches in 30 inch rows. Once you have got that number, you're going to multiply that by 1000 and that gives you number of plants in an acre. Now, when you're counting plants, not only you want to count the total number of plants, but also the ones that are lagging behind. You can see a plant on the right that is lagging behind compared to the plant on the left. And then you're going to see another plant right here on the right that is also a leaf behind compared to left. You probably don't want to consider this plant. It seems almost dead. Anyway, won't amount to anything. Once you know what your stand is uh, in the field, you want to find out what is the yield potential as it's right there. This table you're seeing here is taken from uh, Penn State, also from Illinois University and Purdue University as well. But basically what it is showing is the yield potential between 125 and 175 bushels per acre. Let's say a grower planted at 30,000 plants per acre on May 19th, as you can see. He would ha normally have 91% yield potential just because he planted late. But let's say he's seeing now um, only 15,000 plants per acre. Okay, so uh, that would uh, reduce some yield potential and uh, bringing it to 73%. Now consider he can replant on June 9, that will give him a 68% yield potential compared to 73% um, if he leaves the stand as it is. Now you would think that it would be more profitable for to him uh, to leave the stand as it is uh, by giving him 5% more yield uh, for leaving the stand as it is. But that's considering if all those 15,000 plants are of the same height. Now we should consider two situations. If he leaves a stand as it is, um, he would have some yield loss due to late planting, which would be 9%, so bringing from 100% to 91%. And due to reduced stand from 30,000 plants to 15,000 plants, he is already losing 18% as well. And then let's assume out of 15,000 plants that he's seeing out there, he has 50% of those plants that are two leaf behind. That gives rise to 6% another yield loss and I can give you that formula at the end in a document uh, I'll provide you at the end of the video. So the final yield potential at 15,000 plants per acre, he's going to have only 67% yield potential compared to if he replants on June 9. Now that is true yield potential that he's seeing out there right now. Now there are some factors he has to consider if he wants to decide whether he wants to still replant or not. First is he would have to clear his existing stand of crop which he would have to, let's say he uses tillage, uh, but then he will have to think about whether he's going to reduce the efficacy of the herbicide that's already there, or, or he's going to also affect the soil moisture, and then whether he has the product that's available he wants to replant. And finally, he would also have to worry about insect management, since now the insects are going to be more compared to a month ago, just because the temperatures are higher. Thank you for watching. For more information, stay tuned. Thank you.